here. I'm trying my best to make this a little bit easier to follow. Uh, if you haven't gotten any of the bits for every battles, of course, if you want to do the final battle, you do need to have these bits and the wings as well. Um, so they've nerfed some of the challenges uh, for getting the bits. So I'm going to go over what's changed and uh, update a couple things and make things hopefully easier for you to get these bits. Uh, the hardest is the piggy badge, even though it's not a bit, but you need a piggy badge. But I'll show you guys beginning here. Everything be time stamped. Uh, first one we do uh, super golf, then shopping wars, then uh, build a boat. You know, that's the order of easiest. The hardest, easiest is uh, going to be super golf. So I'll show you guys what you need to do, and hopefully you can follow along. So first things first, super golf. Very easy to start. What we do is go into a private server, basically, and as you will have full control, it's free. So just make sure you just. Uh, make one and it, it is free to use so make sure to go ahead and start that off so first things first if you don't know how to use a power server open the low hammer on the bottom left and you want to skip to hole 18 on oasis here now uh, all you need to do for this one is go full power in the tree and you'll be getting the first one done as simple as that no rush there now like i said to make sure you use the hammer and we'll change some options here and there um, but it is pretty easy to do and it should be pretty quick uh, to do all of this stuff here. So that being said, first hole, get it in. You got a little notification on the bottom right. That's when you know you're doing it correct pretty much. Next up, after this, when I open your menus, I'm pressing M or clicking on the back arrow on the top right. And you can exit or end the game like that. And then you want to go back to your hammer and click on to island. We're going to head to hole six. Uh, and we're going to make sure you also change your ball color to blue as that's the next important step when it comes to let's do super gold. So go to your uh, backpack here and click on the filter for colors, put on blue, click on your ball, turns it blue, then head to island, uh, hole six with your hammer bottom right, bottom left, and go to hole six by skipping to it. And you want to get a hole in one here. So you want to full power into the hole here. Um, if you mess up like this, you can press M to go back to the menu, go to your uh, hammer, and then just go back one hole, and then go back to hole six uh, to reset your strokes, because you do need a hole in one in order to get this next step here for this Russo bit here. Now, next one, we're going to head over to the mine shaft. So we're going to obviously go end the game, press an X, then hit the hammer, mine shaft, click on that, and you want to enable jumping. Now, there's important settings here, because it doesn't matter these settings on it is very important so mn panel you want to increase your max jumps to max so 10 pretty much and then you want to change your max strokes to over 100 just so you have you can make more mistakes pretty much so let's go to the bottom max strokes 200 and you're good to go to get in this next part so we're going to head to hole nine the last hole and we're going to head to the green crystal oh you also change your ball green that's what i always forget ball has to be green and then now we head over here and we head across just like this. Pretty much just head the path, play it normally. If you fall off the map, just reset back to where we were. Just keep trying. Nothing, like you have unlimited strokes pretty much. So just follow the map, use as much as you want. Uh, once you get to about this point into the map, this is where you can uh, shoot yourself at the green crystal in front of you. So just jump into it, just teleport you just like that. And then you want to just finish this rest of this part here as best as possible now. It's very, very easy. So we'll go ahead and just make this go a bit faster here. So you have full power on the spider there, and then you get the hole in here, and then you're good to go. Just like that. Get the next notification. Now, of course, exit back out, press the X, and then you're going to go to the next last map, which is the graveyard, hole 18. You want to turn on jumping. And do the exact same thing you did with the other options. So also then turn your ball pink, not purple, but pink. Uh, change your settings to max jumps and change your settings to max par. And then we're skipping to hole, uh, I think it's what's it again? Be a hole 16 is the hole we're going to. Skip towards that. Then you want to head up here at this area of the map and then just Hundred, I do decent power and just click jumping until you hit the cave with the red eyes. And you want to hit the lily pad in front of you to just do the parkour part, and then just get to the end. And that's the blue bit question mark badge. And then of course, it's like about getting heading back to our battles mini game to uh, 
get your bit. But first of all, I'm going to the next one will be Shopping Wars to get the second bit uh, for yourself here. So just make sure you head across here and then get the hole in. And you get the badge on the bottom right. Congratulations, pretty much. And that's your bit there. So Shopping Wars bit was made easier to do. Uh, the candy pipes, nothing too complicated now. The first step is to make sure and go to Blocksmart power servers. Not free, but it's whatever. Uh, you get a space basket, space basket for free. Uh, when you join the game, a pet and a trail. So equip all of that before you start the match, as that make you go faster. Click classic mode. Of course, you need two people on a power server, but a plug server you can do, do plug servers pretty easily. Uh, and you want to go ahead and uh, head over to the first downstairs washroom. So we have these equipped. You're able to run faster and do this a bit faster. So just go in inventory menu and equip those items. Get them for free just by joining the game. So block smart first one. Head to the bottom, the bottom floor restroom, and you want to click on the click the middle toilet five times. You'll know when you're done. When you hit five, and in the last toilet, the snowman on the left side of the t uh, corner will click it one time, and you get that flood. Then head to the top toilets six times up top here. Then click the last toilet two times, and that'll get you the badge. So five in the middle on the bottom, and then one on the left, and then the top six on the first toilet on the left, and then two on the right. You'll know when you're done six or five when it floods. If you click it too many times, we mess up the if you mess up the code on the top bathroom. Uh, you have to reset and do it again on the bottom bathroom, pretty much. So just make sure you double check and redo that. Next step we're gonna head to is Candy Kingdom, whatever it's called. So Canyon Kingdom uh, pipes were made easier. You don't have to do a code anymore. It's just straight up sign tells you right in front of you. Just click every pipe in a row, left to right, and then you're good to go. That's it. The code is not what it used to be. They made it much easier so you can follow along much better. So just do as you, as it tells you to do it. Don't die to Bob. You do the second pipes, the same thing. One, two. Six, seven, eight. Then you get the badge just like that. Then you want to head to the middle of the map to pick up the key that spawns in once you flood the whole place with the badge. So you grab the key. Then with the key, you want to go ahead and head over to the pink door at the front of the store. Use the key. Then you pick up the sword key inside this room. Basically, what you want to do with this is now go to your menu and equip your weapon. So equip it. So next time it spawns with it now. Wait for the round to end. Check your presets to see if it's there and go back to block smart. Heading back to block smart. Very important. You want to pick a game mode that has a weapon early on because if it's if like zombie raid or storm or mecha Karen or ice one, you want to have a sword. One of those game modes because you have a sword spawn at the beginning. If you play a regular game mode, uh, you have to wait for the flash sale or shopping list at the end to get the sword at the end. But uh, if you get play like zombies or you play uh, storm or you play mecha carrion you'll have a sword always on you at the beginning of the round so we picked zombie and i gave us the uh zombie uh sword on a, a sword early on basically so we want to head over here see the swords right there on the bottom of my inventory and i'm going to equip it and use your sword to uh, hit the door and this will teleport you to the boss bob boss fight basically Now the Bob boss fight's pretty easy uh, to handle. They made it easier where the forklifts are uh, do less damage now, but the route is the same. You want to watch for these uh, the, the, the treadmill or whatever uh, treadmills and just jump onto those and be as fast as you can. Just post, hold down spacebar, uh, taking the same path. You want to be in the middle of the map when you're heading up here to dodge the rubber rope, rope to damage to you. Uh, taking a forklift. Uh, won't hurt that much, but you want to hit the two buttons on the right and the left. As seen here, you can see the health bar. You have a forklift. There's no, no more damage at the bottom there, so it's much easier to do this one now. That's for sure. Now, same thing. Do it two more times. So now, you know, wait for a treadmill to spawn in, as you can see here, and just use that to make it fully across without falling off. I use I use a pipe to get up here, but. You don't have to, you can do whatever you want, but middle middle of the treadmills so you don't hit any robots and just jump along and get to the end. Then after that, last button in the middle of the map, nothing really changes to be honest, it's all the same. Just don't fall off the map or it'll reset the battle unless they change that. I'm not sure I didn't fall off, so I can't really tell if that ever happened. So of course, just make sure that you make it across and don't do anything too risky as nothing is too scary anymore. The forklifts don't do damage. 
and it is made much much easier now once you get to the end here make sure you actually pick up the bit because when you finish this you don't actually get the badge at the end here it doesn't give you the badge for the bit it gives you just a random badge for completing the boss but to get the bit you have to go ahead and head to the left over here and click on this by pressing it or touching it and see that we get the bit just like that and you can sort it if you want but that's it that's shopping wars bit now let's talk about the piggy badge so for the DJs, but you do need to have this uh, badge and it's hard to do. Uh, of course, you need to find people to do it in a, in a party or I don't know, you gotta just figure it out at this point, but you do need this because the whole reason of doing the piggy badge is to get the portal at the end. The portal is closed if you do the build boat stuff. Uh, the whole point of the piggy badge is that it activates the portal uh, for you. I'll do it when you finish this uh, secret puzzle in this area. So it's chapter 12 in book one plant. Um, uh, I'm not going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to gist of what you need to do for this. Um, but you can watch the full video. I'll put the link in the video. You can do that yourself. Uh, I don't, I can't just like, really explain it. I, I already had the video made already. So you're able to follow along pretty easily. But the gist of it is to uh, unlock the, uh, what do you call it? Unlock the, Dynamite in the middle of the map by doing both the key codes left and right, uh, green room and or orange room and green room, and just get the both the vials into the middle, and then you have to get dynamite and put it in a secret wall, which will be shown in the video when you watch it, and then you also get a gun as well with at least two bullets, uh, so that you can use it at the end, and then once you put the dynamite in the secret wall. A bunch of symbols and you have to go find five pieces of paper around the map with uh a two numeral roman numerals basically you solve that decode it put the code into the secret area um and then you have to go ahead and just uh what was it well after that ah you got the gun and then or you get a you get a crowbar and you then you break the th the the green bits in the hallway, and then after that the pistol you head to the middle of everybody. Click on the four pillars in the middle. You have a green uh, ring around it. You shoot them twice with your gun, and then the map will rotate to a door with alphabet symbols on the on the door. Click the alphabet symbols in alphabetical order, and then that's it. Head inside the room and make sure you click on the lever to get the badge. You need the badge badly. You can see here, uh, as you see, that you gotta make sure you actually click on the lever in the in the in this area here, in order for the uh, the badge to be gotten at the end. Here, make sure you click on it, and you'll get the badge. And then this is important because that portal will be off um, when you do it if you don't have it already. So very important. That's just very important. I can't I can't express. It's hard to do. But I'll just like I said, I'll post a video uh, in the description and you can watch it, the full thing, showing every step you need to do pretty much. So uh, heading to Builder Boat, uh, it's a fresh account. And what you want to do to make this easy for yourself is go to the pink or magenta uh, team. If you're if nobody's in the server, join that team and you want to make build a key. Now, people say you need the arsenal badge, but this is a fresh, it's not the arsenal badge, it's a piggy badge. Um, and it doesn't. You don't need it apparently. I mean, they removed it. I don't know. Maybe it bugged out, but apparently, you don't need it. If you do need it, then you need the Arsenal badge. If you don't, then uh, I'll just put a guide on how to do it. Um, but from my experience, I just did this and I actually did not need it. I don't know why. Maybe it's bugged or maybe it's scuffed for me, but don't need it. So, what you need to do here, just make sure you just get a, into the waterfall as you would. Right up here. And then just walk through our fault. Now, uh, it might be a good to see about how, how do I solve the bomb? How do I solve the bomb? How do I get the code for the door? Well, uh, people have learned that uh, the codes are not random. There's a set amount of codes that you can get from the bomb stuff. So I'll put the in the description, in the comments, the uh, sequence of codes that you could use and guess and just guess, hopefully, uh, and hopefully just get it correct. If none of them work, then just make a new server and rejoin much that's it this i don't know i just walked up the key and it worked so there's that i uh, put the book code in which is on the screen so red blue green pink and yellow and then use the key on the chest open the door 
And this might look surprising for you, but the first code I put in that was confirmed to be real, I got it correct. <laughs> so uh, there is that, I guess. So just put in a code, I put in 7452 and that one worked for me. So I don't know what to say about that, but it just worked. So I don't know, just, just make sure, just look at, the, look at the list of codes and just put whatever you're in and then you're good to go at the moment. So as you can see here, the yeah, code real quick seven four five two and it just worked it's like, okay well that was easy of course like i said this account does not have the piggy badge um so it does i cannot actually do the portal but it is a boss fight uh i would it's not hard to do if you do if you do die it doesn't reset it resets the boss fight but you don't have to redo the boss co uh, the bomb code every single time of course but uh you do there was three phases whenever a phase ends your team is fully healed and if anybody died if you're doing it in a party they can come back and try and finish the next thing so make sure you just get the bit at the end of the video and uh, at, at the video at the end by clicking on it or walking up to it when you beat the boss and uh that's pretty much it uh, for the guide here um i'll show you guys i guess uh picking up the bits i guess so if you haven't done this before you even getting those badges you have to get you go to uh the lab to pick up your bits the, it's not like you just get the badge in those games you get the bit right away in your inventory you have to go ahead and head back over here so down to the bottom elevator and you want to go ahead and head over here and you want to put the passcode in if this keypad so the passcode right now is going to be uh, seven, two, seven, 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 eight, seven. It's basically uh, as code. So that'd be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Put it in, approved, and take the elevator up. Um, and do some parkour. It's pretty easy. Uh, you do the skip right like this. So we're going to go here. Up on this box. This box. Whoops. And you just want to just. Uh, like that. And you want to talk to Boringsworth. To get your bits that you've collected. From playing all those games. Pretty much. Like so. Talk to him one time to get your one bit. And then if you do it again. He has it is dialog, but I don't know, it's not playing for me, but we got one of them and then should have another one, but where's my Russo one? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't do it on his account. That's right. <laughs> Anyways, if you have the Russo one, then you do it. You get the other one. Yes. Okay. Well, there you go. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, just make sure. You know, if you want to do the final battle, this is all the time you have. There's not much time left. Maybe like a couple of weeks, a week or so before it happens. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the little easy, much easier guide to get all the bits. I guess the piggy is hardest, obviously, but there's that's just how it is, sadly.